Hi, welcome back to Flash Custom Transfers. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your gang sheet on Canva. Um, just a disclaimer, you do need Canva Pro to be able to export um, in the right format that we need to print your sheet. So don't forget that. We do have a description down below. I'm sorry, we do have a link down below with the link to uh, Canva Pro. So be sure to check that out. So let's go ahead and get straight into the video. First thing that we're gonna do is head over to canva.com. So we're gonna go ahead, as you can see, we have our Canva and we do have Canva Pro. Um, so just be sure to upload, to upgrade to that if that is what you are needing. So we're gonna, first thing that we're gonna do is the top right hit create a design. And then we wanna hit custom size. So we hit custom size down here. Always make sure that this is in inches. It defaults to pixels, but make sure that it is in inches. And we're gonna work on a 22 by 24 for today. So you would hit 22 by 24. If you're working, if you ordered a 22 by 36, you would be sure to put the 36 here or a 22 by 60, you would be sure to put a 60 right there. So today is 22 by 24. So we'll go ahead and create new design. So this is our artboard, 22 by 24 artboard. Like I said, if you do a 22 by 36 or 60, it would be a much larger artboard. First thing we're gonna do is upload, hit uploads. So this is where we keep all of our uploads. So this is where you would upload your images. So you would hit upload files. You would get a file from here uh, and then you would upload it. I've already have pre-uploaded, so if you are familiar with that upload, just upload your image. Your image must be high quality before it gets into Canva in order for it to export at a high resolution. So it already needs to be high resolution when importing into Canva. That is the key. If you import low resolution image, it's going to export horribly very low resolution so be sure all your images are high resolution before you upload them that is a key <clears throat> let's go ahead and work with these medical valentine's day um, so if you see here we do have some um, kind of dead space right here so i'm going to crop that to the exact size of my image so I can get those exact dimensions that I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and crop this and then we hit done. So now this is cropped to uh, the image so I can hit my dimensions. If you grab this corner here, you'll be able to see what dimension. So you see that's 11.9 by 6.6. .6. Um, our standard adult size for small to large is 10 width. So anything larger than, you know, extra large 2X, 3X, 4X, you wanna go larger. But for standard size, 10 width. I know that's a question I always get asked. So let's, I'm gonna go ahead and get this to my standard size, which is 10 width right here. The good thing about Canva is the image is locked, so it's not able to bring your image out of proportion so it will the whatever the width that you want it will keep the height at what it needs to be to keep the image in proportion which is amazing that's what we want so uh i know a lot of people are like 10 by 10 11 by 11 but that's not how it works with images because that can distort it if it's not a perfect square so let's go ahead and do this one 10 by 5.5 so i'm gonna do one of those uh, let's bring this one in. As you see, this one also needs to be cropped. Cropping is important, so don't forget that step because you need those dimensions perfect. If we leave all that dead space and we do 10 width, it will probably be nine because you know there's an inch into that dead space. Okay, so hit done. And this is 12 by 12.13 by 8.8. .8. We do not want that. We want a 10 by 7.2. So perfect. We'll put that there. Uh, Flash Plus. If you guys do not know or if you are not a Flash Plus member, we have subscriptions for $8.99 
per month. I'm gonna make another video on that. So this does have white in the background that you aren't able to see. So I'm just gonna hit a gray, black, just so I can see this so I can crop it. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna crop this down. You know what, I don't think this is a high resolution image. Let's not use this one. Now that I'm thinking about that one was not high resolution. So let's find another one. We have our teacher singles. As you can see, this is already set to the right dimensions. I'm gonna bring it to standard size 10. Um, another one that's already cropped, ready to go. Let's do this one at 10. Oh, 9.9. Let's say we want these um, chest size. So chest size is usually three by three, four by four, uh, depending on how big you wanna go. So I'm gonna go three by three, just to kind of get some different, whoa, three by three, so three by 2.9. So we'll put that one there. I don't know the quality on those uh, things. So let's use One Love Teacher. We're just getting some images right now and putting them on here so I can show you guys how to export. As you can see, we can fit quite a quite a few um, adult size images on one 22 by 24. This one here. So if that one, let's try to flip it, see if it works. Okay, we'll just move this one up. You see how you can just kind of arrange. This is your sheet so you want to maximize your space as much as you can i have something there so i'm going to just make this whatever size this is to try to fill in that spot and that is let me make it as big as i can and this is what oh okay so that's a 10 perfect all right, so here is our sheet. Um, we just have the black background just to be able to sh have those light colors pop. Um, so the after we do our sheet, after everything is um, cropped correctly, you know, good images, we're gonna go ahead and export. And this is the important, important, important step. So we're gonna hit share. Then we're gonna go to download. So right here, this is where you need to um, do your thing. So you see size, and we're gonna go all the way over to 3.125. That is what is going to make it high resolution when exported. So make sure that size is all the way to 3.125. You definitely wanna hit transparent background so that dark color in the back does not show, or if you're still working with white, so the white doesn't show, we want transparent. Always hit transparent. Do not hit compressed file, we don't want compressed file. As you can see, um, the little crowns right here, that means you are pro. That means you need a pro account to do these things, so please keep that in mind. So you can export as a PNG or a SVG, either or. So transparent background, size all the way to big. So let's hit download. Perfect, so it's gonna download. Then we're gonna head on over to Adobe, which whenever you download it, export it, you email it to me, I'm gonna bring it into Adobe, take a look at it. So then I will go here. This is a 22 by 24 artboard. Ooh, excuse me, 22 by 24 artboard, so I'm gonna open and this is your file here okay so whenever it comes in it comes in white which is fine don't be alarmed then i would hit this transparent button and i'd be like wow this is really this is a good setup sheet you know people always say hey i did it from canva i watched your guys's video amazing we could have filled in some space right here uh, but this is just for teaching purposes. So I will go ahead, turn off transparent, and now I'm gonna zoom in 300% to take a look at the quality. Again, perfect. So here is the quality. So this is actually a pretty good file. If it was low quality, low resolution, it would be very um, kind of like this, how it's a little fuzzy. So always make sure your images 
This actually won't print bad, but it's not at the highest resolution. As you can see, the differences here. You see how this one has a little bit of transparent edges and this one has a little bit of sharp edges. So your images needing to be high resolution before you upload them is, uh, is also important because they will not export, I mean, they will not print at the highest resolution. So that is how you set up your game sheet on Canva. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. If you need um, uh, that link to get that Canva Pro, that is also linked down low um, as well. And again, we love you guys so much. Thank you for all the support. And I'm so happy we were able to find a free program, pre -so free software for you to create your gang sheet. So until next time, we will see you later. Bye.